Amen. Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for giving us the accurate message through the pulpit message that we have to stay awake spiritually because Amen. Satan is at work. May we equip ourselves with the word and prayer so that we can be ready to fight the spiritual fight in our respective fields. Amen. Lord, may we follow the stream of the word and as we really embrace the word within our hearts, our minds, and our thoughts, <laughs> may we really have the partisan of the word within us. So before we go to the field of Mindoro, before we go to the field of Antipolo, may we become the spiritual missionaries. May we really have this identity as a child of God, so we can be victorious when we actually go to the field. At this time, as we listen to your word, as we go through the book of Ephesians, May the answers that the Church of Ephesus received become our answers so we can really leave behind the eternal legacy, inheritance, and masterpieces that all people can see. In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> You buy 20 cups of coffee. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, 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 yes. Benedict. <laughs> 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 Are you sure? <laughs> you were there last week? No. No, no, there's no, there's no Benedict last week. Last, last week, so upset. You don't know what? Yeah, I'm going to go to the camera. I'm going to go to the camera. You, you're a camera. 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 Brother Dom today buy coffee. 12 cups Where of coffee. Where is Steppy and Saeed and others? Where are we coming? I don't know. Okay. 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 Right. So before we jump, we, we, we enter into the main content, which is Ephesians chapter 3. Okay, can we start? Yes. Can we start? Everyone's so excited, I know. Yes. Now is the time to be calmed down. Okay. So, intro. Now, God has given us the accurate word that we have to be stay awake. Knowing that we're about to enter and really go to the field of Mindoro. And you guys need to really resource. raise your hand if you're a team this form today. Because I said, even during the oneness day, we do form. See? That's how much you don't listen to the announcements. <clears throat> From now on, even in the, during the oneness day, now, what are you going to talk about as you eat food? Like physical stuff? No. Okay? So I want you to restore this forum. And if I if I were you, I'm gonna take a picture of this forum sheet and go and bring it with me to my house. <coughs> and really pray for my cell members. But all you do is here you go, Pastor. I don't know. I, oh, oh yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not saying all of you are doing that, but if I were you, I'm gonna take a picture and really pray for my members for the pulpit message throughout the, throughout the six days of the week. So, forum, you guys need to talk about your covenant. Forum is not the time that you whine about your, your life. Forum is not about, I had this problem. Yeah, of course, you can't say that. But 
during the forum, the main focus is that I held on to this covenant last week, mm -hmm. but as I really stick to this, God gave me the answer so that I can overcome this problem. Right? And within the flow, God allowed me to hold on to this covenant through today's pulpit message. This flow must be existing within your form, the covenant. It's not about who's writing fast and who's going to be missed, who's going to be dismissed first, mm -hmm. right? Because some of you, let's just like, like turning, like running the papers around the people, yeah, you write yours, like I write mine, and he writes mm -hmm. his, and she writes hers. <laughs> and the reason I appointed you as cell leader is to actually listen to their forum topics, listen to their prayer topics, mm -hmm. you guys can really rectify it, <coughs> you guys can really give the answer through the word, right? That's what it means to be a leader, right? You guys are the leaders. Right? You guys really need to restore this. Is everything okay? Pen? Yes. <laughs> you want the marker? It's kind of thick though. And first, as a team leader, you guys need to make this spiritual atmosphere. Atmosphere. What kind of atmosphere? When I enter YM ministry, it's kind of awkward to talk about unbelief. You need to make that kind of spiritual atmosphere. When I enter room 1004, right, talking about unbelief is really something awkward and strange. You need to make that kind of atmosphere, not only in this room, but also in 901. Right, how? By having this form. <clears throat> I understand your problem, bro, but God is alive, right? You have been given eternal life. The problems that you have right now, compared to eternity, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. You should be able to make that atmosphere as a spiritual leader. You guys are the leaders. And secondly, prayer me. And here, when, when we first started this training, I asked you to upload a picture of you guys meeting like zoom or something but it's okay even if you are the only one person praying i still want you to <coughs> take a picture if i were you i'm going to take a picture of my prayer topics and take a picture and upload it you know then you know what happens all your members might be able to see oh i'm not praying for her but she's praying for me i'm not praying for him but he's praying for me Mm. What? I always ignore his phone calls, but he's continuously praying for me. Mm. And that's why I ask you to upload the picture. Mm. Not to make you feel burdensome, but to have this masterpiece. When your cell members who are spiritually weak, like happen to see the picture, <laughs> comes Rosa, Jonathan, he's praying for me, but he called me last night, but I ignored it. Mm. You don't know what's going to happen to his spiritual state if he thinks that his leader is actually praying for his members. And really, prayer must become the start, the process, and the end of everything. We have to pray for Konzi, right? Because prayer is transcending time and space. It can be just one minute of your time, three minutes of your time, five minutes of your time. You need to make this spiritual atmosphere restored in your life. And I really want you to really receive the answer of mission. Not only, not only as the ones who are participating, but also who are supporting back in Korea. Answers of mission. Mission. So briefly talk about the Ephesians chapter 1. Right. I'll give you the key keyword to memorize easy. Okay? Ephesians chapter 1 is about your identity. God chose you even before creation to become his children. And you guys were reconciled through Jesus Christ to be with God. That is your identity. Okay? You guys really need to know this. And Ephesians chapter 2. 
Yeah, spiritual state. Yeah, spiritual state. Of non-believers. As well as the gift of God, which is salvation. Right, you need to have these keywords in your mind. Right, when you think about Ephesians chapter 1, oh, it's my spiritual identity. God called you even before creation. When you think about Ephesians chapter 2, it's about the spiritual state of those who are separated from God. Right? You are dead in your sins and transgressions. You used to follow the rulers of the kingdom of the air, and you are by nature under the wrath of death. And today we are going to read through Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. So before we do so, there is a quick quiz. What is the main theme of the Mindoro camp? Raise your hand if you know this. The tyrannous the tyrannous the tyrannous the tyrannous the tyrannous the movement that erases disciples amen right and the verses at Acts chapter 19 verses 9 to 10 you know I told you about the background of Ephesus so much superstitions idolatry so many you know prostitutions and all things like that. However, Paul went into the field with the gospel. And God allowed him to discover hidden disciples. And he brought those disciples separately into the Tyrannus Hall and did the gospel movement. Because there were so many rebellion. Thinking that, oh, because of this Paul, we can't get any profits from idolatry, superstitions, and prostitution. Because many people are actually converting back to Christianity. So there is no way for them to get any further profits. That's why they rejected Paul. That's why Paul brought the discovered disciples into the Tyrannus Hall, and that was where he trained them with the gospel. So that means... That's right. Thought, right? <laughs> Sorry, that's right. right. So even if you guys think that, oh, I don't think the people of Mindoro might not be able to understand and realize the gospel, but that is your thinking... But God's thinking is different. God's thought is different. When you shine the light, darkness has no choice but to flee. Right? When you shine the light of Christ, force of darkness has no choice but to be broken down. <clears throat> and you guys need, really need to have this in your mind. Answers of mission. Right? This time, when I go there, instead of just sightseeing in the world, you guys are actually witnessing how God is unfolding his work by allowing us to discover the hidden disciples. We're not going there as a spectator. We are going there as the main figures for receiving the answers of missions. Amen? Amen. Alright, so let's start with Ephesians chapter 3. So we, just like we did last week, we're going to read every verse all together. So please start with verse 1. For this reason, I call the prisoner of Christ Jesus for the sake of the And number two. Surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you. Amen. It says, For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the sake of you, Gentiles. That means he already knew, had the covenant of Acts chapter 9, verse 15. You are the chosen vessel to stand before the kings, the Israelites, and all the Gentiles. And he held the covenant, right? I am the prisoner of Christ for the sake of you, Gentiles. In other words, God called me to become the one who proclaimed the gospel to convert the Gentiles to four world missions. In which means he held on to this covenant why don't we look it up and read it all together? Acts chapter 9, verse 15. Acts chapter 9, verse 15. And let us read it all together. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. Amen. Amen. He held on to this 
word as his heavenly mandate, calling, and the mission. And that's why he is revealing the covenant that he, he is holding on to, to the church of Ephesus. I am the prisoner of Jesus Christ, not for me, but for the sake of evangelizing the Gentiles. Right? That is your mission. Even today, Pastor Jung says, the greatest mission that you guys can carry out is evangelism and mission. Right? So proclaiming the gospel 24 hours. Always, that is your identity. When you enter the, the field of Mindaro, this is your identity. The reason <coughs> I'm stepping on this field is to become the one who will save all the Gentiles, all those who have never heard of the gospel, with the name of Jesus Christ. Right? That is your covenant when you enter the land of Mindoro. And surely you have heard about the administration of God's grace that was given to me for, for you. you. Right? Again, God's grace that is upon you will be relayed to the people of Mindoro. Right? You guys are going there to relay the peace and the grace that comes from God. You guys are the covenant relayers. And number three, please read. That is the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. That is the mystery made known to me by revelation, as I have already written briefly. Right? This mystery of Christ has been known to you, not because you're smart, but because of God's grace. Right? You have been saved, not because you're diligent, but because God chose you, and through His grace, you are saved. Amen. Amen. And number four? In reading this, you will be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. And five? Which was, which was not made known to me when in other generations as it has now been revealed by the Spirit of God's holy apostles and prophets. Right, so in reading this, the reason I read this is for you to be able to understand my insight into the mystery of Christ. His only desire is for you to understand the mystery of Christ. The reason you meet the people of Mindoro is for them to realize the mystery of Christ. In order to do so, the light of creation must be upon them. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. While they are within darkness, they cannot understand the mystery of Christ. Because they are within complete darkness. But when you shine the light of creation upon them, which is Jesus Christ, only then can they be able to understand the mystery of Jesus Christ. Right? You need to pray for them. And which was not made known to man in other generations as it has now been revealed by the Spirit. See? Revealed by the Spirit. The reason you can find the word believable every single worship you give to God is because the Holy Spirit works inside of you. That is the very evidence that you can find the word believable and say amen to that. It's not your understanding, it's not your knowledge, but the working of the Holy Spirit inside of you. And number six, this misery is that through the gospel the Gentiles are here together with Israel, members together of one body and sharers together in the promise in Christ Jesus. Right, see, this verse actually destroyed the long-lasting, long-lasting imprint of the Jews. Jews thought that, Jews thought that when they proclaimed the gospel, they only do so to the fellow Jews. They did not proclaim the gospel to the Gentiles. They only thought that God gave this gospel only to us. We are the chosen people. They are like animals. However, in verse 6, this mystery of Christ, right? Gentiles also become heirs together with Israel, which means they become heirs of the things of God. They become children of God. Right? And they became members of one body of Christ and sharers together in the promise in Christ Jesus. In other words, whether you are Jews, whether you are Gentiles, that doesn't matter. As long as you believe in Jesus Christ, you will be reconciled, you will be reunified with God, and you become the sons and daughters of God. That's what Paul is saying. That is the, actually the contrast to the belief of all the Jews at that time. 
And number seven. I became a servant, servant of God's gospel by the gift of God's grace, given me through the working of His power. I became a servant of this gospel, not because I'm smart, but by the gift of God's grace, given me through the working of His power. Right? The reason you are serving this church, the reason you're serving this ministry, the reason you're going to the mission field is by the grace of God. Amen. And you're not going to carry out your role with your own power, but the power that comes from above. That is the power of the throne. Amen? Amen. Right. And number eight. Although, Although I am less than the least of all God's people, 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 people is grace is given to preach with the Gentiles and the church of the riches of Christ. See, although I am less than the least of all God's people, I am the worst one. But still, God gave me the grace to realize this mystery of Christ. Right? Do not be deceived by your surroundings. Do not be deceived by your limitations. Right? When you actually go to Mindoro, you might see a lot of your hidden spiritual problems, but do not be taken aback. Why? That's going to be the channel for you to receive the answer of healing and restoration. Right? When you get a scar, instead of just hiding them, you need to actually make it open, expose it to the others, and nurses and doctors, and they should be able to apply the ointment mm -hmm. on your scar. Mm -hmm. And that is the quickest way for you to heal your scars. Same thing. When you actually go to the field, when you actually go to the missions field, you might face problems, crisis, conflicts, or you might see your hidden problems, right, that others might not know, but still, it's okay. God is putting you in the process of being healed. Mm -hmm. God is actually allowing you to go through the process of receiving the answer of restoration. Amen? Amen. Okay, so, it says, I am less than the least of all God's people. Even though I am the worst of all, God gave me this grace. Why? To preach to the Gentiles. The reason why God called the people of Galilee, He could have called the Sadducees or Pharisees who are educated, but God called the people of Galilee because their background didn't really matter to God. What matters is whether they have the gospel or not. Same thing. Even if you're weak, even if you're powerless, even if you have so many limitations and problems, it's okay. Because when God says, I'm going to use you, Dom, I'm going to use you, Benedict, mm. then no one can block. Amen? Amen. Amen. And verse 9. And to make me everyone, everyone that musician of this mystery which were for each past was hidden in God, who created all things. Right, and to make plain to everyone the administration of this ministry, which for ages past was kept hidden in God, who created all things. Right, this mystery has been hidden for ages, but now revealed to you. Same thing, this gospel has been hidden for ages, but now being revealed in the field of Mindoro because of you guys. If you don't go there, they cannot hear the gospel. Right? And we need to look up the verse Romans chapter 10, verses 14 to 15. Romans chapter 10, verses 14 to 15. Romans 10. Then. Let us read. How then can they call on the name of one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Amen. How can they hear the gospel if no one is being sent? How can they actually believe in the name of Jesus Christ? If no one is actually proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ. And because we are going there with this gospel and proclaim this to the people of Mindoro, this mystery that has been hidden for ages will be revealed to them at the most accurate time schedule of God. And you are being utilized for that sake. How thankful that I am being used to make this mystery be revealed at the most proper time proper time schedule of God. And I am the one that God is using for the sake of that work. And verse 10, 
is in the name of the Lord, that now through the church the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers of authorities in the heavenly realm. Right, through the churches. His intent, God's intent was that now through the church the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. So you guys are the church. You guys are the temple of God. Right? The the authorities and rulers in the heavenly realms. We are fighting the spiritual fight. Through you guys, the mystery of Christ will be known to every aspect of the lives of the people in Mindoro. Right? You guys are the temple of God. You guys are the churches. And you guys are the ones who will actually share the wisdom of God so that all the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms can really know this. Right? Because you have the light, even if you don't say anything, Satan and the evil spirits already know that the light has come upon the field of Mindon. Right? And 11. According to his eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ, Jesus our Lord. Right, this proclamation of the gospel right, was God's eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus. Right? This proclamation of the gospel is God's greatest desire. And it was accomplished through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And now, as the spiritual ambassadors of Christ, we are running, we are carrying out the same role as Christ did. Through Christ, we were able to know and meet God. And through you guys, who are the spiritual ambassadors of Christ, people of Mindoro be able to know and meet God by believing in Jesus Christ. And verse 12. In Him we may through faith, in Him we may approach God with freedom and confidence. See? In Him and through faith in Him. Who is Him? Who does Him refer to? Christ. Christ. Because you are in Christ, you can approach God with freedom and confidence. Before, you are locked up with the law of, of sin and death. But after you are set free through the name of Jesus Christ, you have this freedom and confidence to approach God because your spiritual current address is in Christ Jesus. And through faith in Christ, you can get near to God. Amen. Right? And that's what they need in the field of Mindor. When they receive Jesus Christ, accept Jesus Christ, and believe in Jesus Christ, they can approach God in freedom and confidence because they are become children of God. God. And verse 13. I ask you, therefore, not to be discouraged because of my sufferings for you, which are your glory. Right. So Paul is actually comforting the people of the church of Ephesus. Like, I ask you, okay, do not be discouraged because of my sufferings for you. Which are your glory? Which means, all the sufferings that I go through is all your glory. So, do not be sad. Do not be discouraged. Right? So, if you suffer because of the gospel, that's going to be your glory. Right? If you suffer, if you face any kind of tribulations or persecutions because of your faith in Christ Jesus, that's going to get you the heavenly reward. Mm -hmm. So, do not be discouraged. When you actually go to the field of Mindoro, you might be rejected. Oh, I don't need the gospel. Okay? When you actually go to the field, they think, that, oh, I already believe in Catholicism. I don't need that. Still, it's okay. You already did your job as an evangelist. What you need to do is proclaim the gospel, and whether they believe it or not, it's up to God. Amen. Okay? So do not be discouraged because of any sufferings that you go through for the sake of the gospel. Amen. You will never ever lose the heavenly reward. And verse 14. For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom his whole family is heaven and on earth drive its name. And number 16. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Amen. Right? It says. I kneel before the Father for this reason. Actually, Paul is praying for the people of the church of Ephesus. This is the kind of heart that you need to have as cell leaders, 
When I think about my cell leaders, I have no choice but to kneel before God and pray for them. And through my persuasion, they cannot be successful in worship, but when I pray, when God works upon him or her, right, he, God can change their minds and then come back to the Lord. That's why Paul is, is kneeling before God, because he knew that that is all he can do. Right? So before we enter the land of Mindoro, that's why we pray. Right? We pray in advance. We enjoy the happiness that comes from prayer in advance. We receive the power that comes from above in advance. Right? Only then can we conquer the field of Mindoro with the gospel. And he says, From whom his whole family in heaven and on earth derives its name, I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power. Right? This must be your prayer time. Lord, please strengthen me with your Holy Spirit and in your inner being. Same thing. Think about last week. The heart is important. What's on your outside is not really important. What, what is really inside of your heart, inner part of your life is really important. That's why this is what Paul is praying. Right? With the power, with the power that gives you, may that strengthen my life, my inner self, inner being. Right? Your spiritual state must be strengthened first. Mm-hmm. Right? Because you guys are spiritual beings. Mm-hmm. Without this spiritual power, even if you have so much physical powers, even if you can do 100 push-ups like mm-hmm. Rios do, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> but if you lack spiritual power, right? It's out of nothing. So, in 17, can you read it? So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and I pray that you be rooted and established in love. See, all his prayer is one thing. So that Christ may dwell in your heart. Right? If the Christ dwells in your heart through the Holy Spirit, Satan cannot attack you. Right? Who's at the center of your heart? If myself is at the center of your heart, you become the target for Satan's attack. But when Christ is at the center of your heart, right, that was like Paul's only prayer. Christ may dwell inside of me. Right? That's why I say this several times. When, when, you, when you give worship, only covenant that should remain within you is Jesus Christ. Amen. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through your faith. Without faith, you cannot please God. Right? You need to combine the covenant that you hold on to with your faith. Only then can you experience the work of God in your life. Amen. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love. What love? The love of God that was manifested through the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You need to be rooted and established in their love. And with their love, we are going to the field of Mindoro and share this love. Love for your neighbors. You, you remember the puppet message? Like two or three weeks ago? If you enjoy the love of God, you can actually love your neighbors. And the greatest way for you to share your love is to proclaim the gospel. The gospel. Amen. Amen. And verse 18. May you have power, May you have power together, together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Amen. And 19. Yeah. And to know his love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with the measure of all the fullness of God. See, like his prayer, like may you have power. You have power together with all the saints to grasp it, to understand how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Right? No one can fathom the love of God. Right? Unfathomable. And this gospel was given to you. By God's grace. No one can understand with their knowledge. But now you believe and understand this gospel because of God's grace. Right? And to know this love that surpasses knowledge. That you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. May I be filled with the Holy Spirit. May I be filled with the things of God. And only then can you confess. Right? What I have, I give it to you. If you don't have it, if you are not filled with the things of God, there is nothing that you can relate to the people of Mindoro. That's why you need to embrace the Word. You need to meditate upon the Word. 
You need to have the evidence of the word fulfillment within you. Only then can you go out to the field and give to others what you have. And verse 20. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is work within us. And to him, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. See, to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. So there is no reason for you to be discouraged or disheartened because God is much more able than you imagine and, and you ask for. Right? God has already prepared greater plans than you imagine. Right? You may think that, oh, I don't know what I need to do when I go to Mindoro, but God has already prepared all the things, all the greater things than you can imagine. Amen. Right? All you have to do is go to that field with faith. Amen. Amen. Several weeks ago, uh, Pastor John says, missions is not about your effort. It's about mm -hmm. faith. Mm -hmm. You go to the field of Mindoro with faith that God is going to carry out everything. Amen. Amen. All we have to do is follow his lead, follow his mm -hmm. word, and to him be glory. However, all the fruits that you may bear in the field of Mindoro... That's not for you to boast about, but to give all the glory to God. Amen. Because He's the one who called me, and He's the one who sent me, and He's the one who allowed me to discover the disciples in the field of Mindoro. Amen. All you have Amen. to do is give all the glory to God. Amen? Amen. 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 And even if you don't bear any fruits, still, you give glory to God. Because His answer of mission is my answer of mission, and my answers of mission is her missions of answers of missions, right? We are receiving the answer of one team. Even though you may not receive any answers, if your teammates receive answers, then that answer becomes yes. mine. Right? Yes. Jonathan's answers becomes mine. And Cohen's answers become Anna's. Okay? So it, no matter what happens, you give all the glory to God. Amen. Because you are able to see how God worked through that person. Well, I want to receive the same answer when I go back to my field. Right? That is still your answer. And be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. ever. Right? That's why we need to leave behind the eternal inheritance, masterpieces, and legacy that will be remembered forever and ever. And that is Jesus Christ. Because He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And then that's what every nation, every person needs. It's not money. It's not comfort. But it is believing in Jesus Christ. Amen. You need to know this. You always keep that in mind. I am going there as a spiritual missionary. Okay? So may all Satan's power be broken down even before we actually place our foot upon the field. Because God can transcend time and space. When you pray, holding on to the covenant for that field, God has already worked upon the field. All we have to do is plant the banner of Christ, the victory. Right? You guys are the victors. You remember, you remember the title? You guys are the victors of Christ. Right? Several weeks ago. Right? Like, victor, victors. Really? You are the victor. Amen? Sing me a victor, yes. Hey, God, you're the victor. You're, her name is Caleb, the victor, who conquered the land of Canaan with, along with Joshua. Victor, true victor. So that is it for today. And since we have a little bit of time, uh, the mission is, you need to read Ephesians chapter 4. You know, Ephesians chapter 4 is really important. Really important. Because there is one verse that I really like and that I really use a lot in our message, which is 30. It says, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you are sealed for the day of redemption. Now, Paul is talking about you have been sealed with the Holy Spirit. You are mine. God is saying, because the Holy Spirit is within you, you are mine. So do not grieve the Holy Spirit. How can you grieve the Holy Spirit? If you think about 
all the worldly things. If you think about my self, if you think about money and success, that's how you make the Holy Spirit sad. That's how you make the Holy Spirit grieve. You do not make the Holy Spirit grieve because you are sealed with the Holy Spirit for the day of redemption. So please read through. Right? As you read through each verse, there is grace that God wants to give it to you. Okay? You might be able to hold on to a different verse. It really strengthens you. Okay, so throughout next week, please read Ephesians chapter 4. And for those who haven't submitted your prayer topics to Elder Joy, please do so. Three prayer topics. So if you have five or four, that's better. The more, the better. Okay? Benedict. Why Benedict? Why? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> so prayer topics. Once you're ready, please give it to Elder Joan so that she can actually accumulate everything together. And let me give you a quick quiz. <laughs> okay, what, what is the main theme of this preparation camp? The main camp. The answers of the. The answer of us. Answer of what? The answer that you that you want to receive from Mindora, right? No, no, that's for the prayer topics. Uh, but what is the main theme of the preparation camp? Preparation camp is until the second week of September, right? So answer of what? The efficient church. That's why you need to read through each chapter. And really discover, oh, this is the answer that they received. And make it as yours. And another quiz is, you need to follow the three streams of word. And what are they? And then? Camp message. And you guys need to still continue to uh, join the Zoom meeting. Right? Uh, Pastor Yang Always concerns that, oh, they might not understand everything that I said. Yes. But still, it's okay. When the Holy Spirit works upon you, <laughs> right? Jesus. God allows you to speak in tongues, <laughs> but I'm not sure. <laughs> but as long as you understand God, Christ, Pit, Hananim, mm -hmm. Christo, mm -hmm. well, then then <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Right. So all you have to do is like, Catch on to the word that you can really understand. You don't have to memorize every word that she said because there must be grace that God wants to give to you just for you. Okay? So please do so. And the reason we do, even on Friday, if you can't come to the Friday night worship in person, you still can participate through online. Online. Yeah, online. 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 I saw Rosalie on Friday. I saw through. So please come. And if you guys can come a, a little earlier, you guys can join the prayer meeting along with Elder Joanne. They always gather together at 8 p.m. here in room 1004 and pray for the church, YEM, Mindoro, and all the prayers. So if you can come a little early, like 8 p.m., you guys also can come. Yeah. But only but we come come early. Early. You come early? You just came all up to 10.30. 7.30? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. But don't listen uh, in uh, join uh, at the prayer. Yes, because I don't know. <laughs> so it, the, this prayer meeting is open to everyone. So if you would really want to pray for just about 30 minutes, mm -hmm. you guys can freely come. Okay. I'm not giving you today. I'm giving you next week because I want you to think about your answers first. Okay. But, whoa, that's a good question. What do you think can be the keyword for Ephesians chapter 3? Why, why don't we brainstorm about this? As we read through the entire verse of like 21 verses, what do you think is a keyword that you can hold on to like we did for Ephesians chapter 1 and 2? God's grace. God's grace? Oh, that's good. Okay. The answer of mission. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
answer questions and like two or three more. Liam, what do you think? When you read through the entire Ephesians chapter three, what keyword actually comes up in your mind? Good news. Good news. The mystery of Christ. Mystery of Christ, okay. Conviction. Huh? Conviction? Salvation. Salvation. <laughs> Salvation. <laughs> Salvation is also for the Gentiles. Mm. Right. Salvation for Gentiles, right? The Gentiles. <clears throat> anything else? Like to be strengthened in Christ. Or or you have the confidence to approach God. Mm -hmm. okay. See, as we as we think about these, like this is actually our meditation upon the content of Ephesians chapter three. Mm -hmm. There's no right or wrong answer mm -hmm. because even if you listen to the same Pastor John's message, the covenant you you hold on to is different. Same thing. When you think about the keyword for Ephesians chapter 3, Benedict, what do you think is the keyword that comes up in your mind? Rela relationship to Jesus. Okay, that's good. The love of God. Wow, new student is really smart. <laughs> <laughs> and Dom. <dumb. laughs> Just do it. She didn't say that. God's preparation. God's preparation. Right. His revelation. His, his administration. His preparation. Okay. And among these, you can hold on to as your keyword for Ephesians chapter 3. Mm -hmm. okay. And your mission? Read Ephesians chapter 4 and current topics. And once Ella Joanne allows you to know the person that you pray for, <coughs> you need to start uh, thinking about how I can really relay this covenant to your cell members. Hey, 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 hey. The person that was assigned to my team is me, is <laughs> Rosalie. You guys need to pray for me. How will you pray? Every Tuesday? Every Thursday? Or things like that? Okay. We've been praying for the whole That's good. The group. Right. But we have been separately assigned uh, with different people. Different people. <laughs> you need to communicate with the person what their prayer topics are or what do you want us to pray for or or in contrast what is it that you want me to pray for you things like that you guys can become the one team in prayer one team in prayer until then until the end of Mindoro no until the second coming of Jesus Christ <laughs> Until the second coming of Jesus Christ, you guys are being trained, you guys are being nurtured for your spiritual nature. Right? Your spiritual nature. Any questions? But for me, uh, we have to assign, uh, please pray for me, Rosalie, just like that. No, 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 we already assigned every person to each cell. And Ella Joanne is going to let you know. Uh, one or three people in each cell. It's a happiness cell. Please pray for the participating evangelist in your cell. You want to pray for us? Pretty much, Rosalie is participating. So Rosalie's cell is going to like pray for her. Uh -huh. Things like that. Since Kozis are going, Kozis cell members will pray for her. Uh -huh. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. 
If something happened to me, you're doing it. You pray for me. If something happened to mommy, you didn't pray for mommy. For the Thursday, you pray for me. I will tell you then. Yeah. Once you know this, you guys arrange time and you know how you meet on online, offline, or things like that, or prayer topics. Oh, and 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 and, and. on September fifteenth, I'm not here. Somebody else has to preach the gospel. Okay? We're not here. Yeah. Yeah. You'll figure out who he is sooner or later. Well, I'm not this. <laughs> okay. We didn't have no idea. Mm -hmm. You may be able to receive a lot more grace. <laughs> Pastor Morris. <laughs> no, no. It's the very first time that this pastor stands at the YM's pulpit. The very first time. 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 Ano eh? Kwa? Ano? Kwa? 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 Or Bible verse is okay. Make it as your own prayer. Mission. And since we have some time, Tony, can you have a bottle? Okay. And we're done with the training. We're going to take a picture after this uh, meeting is over.